and uh, that's pretty much the advantage. And, and actually, based on the type of that high, uh, you know, the rain's coming down sporadically. Does the water look like it's lowered at all in the river, in the main part of the river where you are? Things are going like crazy. That wind is howling and it is very loud. We are also seeing some of those signs start to shake. All right, well, we guess we didn't. Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm Mr. Chris Man and this is Viznomatic. So I guess the biggest news is that hurricanes have happened. Like you guys heard about Hurricane Harvey earlier. Um that slightly affected Enter, um, and that was troubling and I'm glad he's okay and a lot of people but a lot of people were truly affected by that. Right after that, Hurricane Irma became an issue. Uh, we, I wasn't in, like, direct path, like, well, I mean, I was. The, we weren't affected as bad as other people were. Um, the islands, my heart goes out to them. I know it was extremely terrible for them, and now they're going through Maria right now. Um, but it affected Cuba, and then went up to Florida, which is where I live. Um, it hit the Keys first, and the Keys have, like, pretty much become a, wasteland right now because they got affected by pretty much a category four um where i live i was affected by a category three category two um it, it actually peaked at a four of like right before it hit us but it went back to a category three um house is fine as you can see i'm still living in it but it knocked everything out outside um i was going to do an update i actually have an update filmed before all of it happened just in case i was like ah maybe i'll release this one but it just didn't feel right because the information that might come afterward or it made me think that like i'd let the hurricane win if i if i had released it like in fear that it would do something that would cause me not to be able to do what i do um but it caused me to not be able to do what i do um but not in a horrible, horrifying way. What happened was that I lost power for 11 days, 11 and a half days. Uh, no electricity. We ran, af ran off of a generator, almost two generators, uh, during the end of that, just to get, like, laundry done. You, you forget the, the little things. I live, remember, I live in Florida where it's extremely hot all the time during the summer. So it was, like, 90... 92 degrees outside, so thus inside was 92 degrees. My cats were affected. They were starting to get overheated. I was getting infected. The whole family was getting infected. And it was it was a little bit of a nightmare. But, it, you know, you go through it. And you got to, to be honest, you got to count your blessings for that kind of thing. Because I still have a home. I'm still alive. And I'm still able to do what I do. It just gave me a two-week hiatus. Which is okay. Um, Viznomanic, you guys won't even notice a single thing missing. Uh, that's why I prepare for uh, months ahead. I have two months ahead planned and pretty much ready to go. So there was no issue whatsoever with the hurricane, the impending hurricane, for your guys' content. But in doing that, I want to let you guys know that I truly, truly appreciate all the views, all the donations through Patreon, all the things you do. I'm not going to be using any of that money to, like, go towards, like, helping me out. Luckily, there's FEMA, and there's all kinds of other stuff. 
I didn't lose any work because our work figured out a way to get us the money that we we were owed, so I'm not behind on pay or anything. Pretty much everything is, for the most part, back to normal. So I'm just going to continue making videos. I'm going to get right back into it probably next week, take a day to just kind of do this update and not really do much else because um, we literally got power yesterday. So I took that day to just be like personal and with family and just be happy to have it. And I wanted to get an update uh, to you guys for today. So this handy dandy pad, I've got some notes and stuff to go through. Um, as you notice, this update is a little bit more sincere and low key. So just kind of bear with me. I know it's not super exciting, but it's been a it's been a time. So again, I mentioned Patreon. Thank you everybody that donated to our Patreon. I'm just I'm probably not gonna say names. They're everybody here, you know. Um, I like Smoke, Lord Enigma, Lang, new person Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. John, Sylvia, um, this is off the top of my head. I never do it this way. Um, but thank you, everybody. I, I, I hope I didn't miss anybody, like, major. I know Hunter started donating. Fraser started donating. What up, Fraser? Yo, you rep me, I rep you, you know? What up? How you doing? Um, so that's really cool. It's it's nice that you guys are all donating. And, I'm again, I'm sorry if I'm missing one. I know uh, Pharrell and Metroid, you guys are as well. Um, again, I'm so sorry if I miss somebody. I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I don't have everything written down here. Um, the, the big videos that have been coming out in this last month would be Dag's step-ups from his classic stuff. Kind of like the NES classic, but similar in, like, Sega stuff. Um, the Halo Chronicles. I know a lot of people are not huge Halo fans, but I think that series is really interesting because it's me and Hunter just kind of reminiscing in a game that, like, we thought was one of our favorites when we were growing up. So I, I hope you guys give that video actually a look because there's some actual funny stuff in there. I might make a best of out of that stuff because there was some funny stuff in there. Nine in the Woods has continued. That's a series that a lot of people were interested in. Date Burbs, there's like a uh, tank dating simulator going out right now. That's pretty funny. Um, Kingdom Hearts continuing on and on and on until October where we obviously have our hiatus. Um, and then we did Destiny, which we'll finish out. And then we have a special... Uh, video right before October, uh, a big beta bunch that no one, you might see coming. We talked about it on our Twitter, so that's exciting. And of course, the indies, they just keep on going. Enter's got that handled right now um, because I was out of commission. But in just a week's time, we are heading into the most exciting time of the year for Viznomatic, which is October. October is where we do a bunch of spooky or halloween theme kind of games or stuff that has Halloween themes in them. Uh, we got a ton of stuff lined up. A lot of, lot of funny content in there. Um, we only need like to actually film the Halloween special itself, but everything else is pretty much ready to go, so there's no worry about that coming out. There's some big, um, exciting stuff, and we actually introduce a new show, so look forward to the new show that will be introduced in the October uh, season, I guess you could call it. The, the, what was it, like seven spooky month now? I don't know. It's always like the extra number more, so it's like either six or seven spooky month. So look forward to that. I'm actually very excited for that. So, um, that's, that's pretty much everything else. Um, on the Patreon, I did, before all this happened, tweak the goals a little bit. I know that we weren't able to deliver too much on like the icons and stuff, so I'm going to adjust that. Everyone who donated and is owed an icon will eventually get their icon. But we're going to change it to be a little bit more personal, um, hanging out with us, because... I think the whole Patreon thing should be about being with us and hanging out with us um, because you deserve it. You're our friends. You're donating to us. You're making sure that we're able to do what we do. You're our friends. Um, and you're paying for your friendship. No. But we we would love to hang out with you in, like, episodes or we will ask you to join us on special projects like the, the very ill-fated or not ill-fated. It's a positive version of that. Anyways, the new Dragon Ball season that we're going to be filming... A lot of the Patreons that have been donators for a very long time are going to get to participate in that, as long as they opt into and they have the game, obviously. Um, but we'll definitely find more and more projects that will include our Patreons as like part of the project. I think that's a lot more interesting than just saying like you're in a Minecraft server. Um, but I hope we do a Minecraft server again. Like, I hope a game shows up that's kind of like Minecraft, where everyone just like jumps in and hangs out. Uh, I miss a game like that, and I hope there's another game that just springs up like that that we'll all be able to enjoy. Um, 
but nonetheless, thank you guys for donating. And just go on the Patreon page, uh, patreon.com slash Viznomatic, and just go through it and see what the what the adjusted goals are now and the adjusted um, tier goals for donating are. Um, but like I said, if you if you donated in, in the previous goals, you will get rewarded like your icons and everything else. But here going forward, we're not going to... We're not going to do it that way. It was just too much pressure on the artists, and I didn't mean to do that to them. And I definitely need the artists to do stuff for us, um, so I can't divide them, especially when they have their own incomes. In fact, a lot of the artists that are in Vizomatic have their own individual Patreons now. So feel free to look them up and get each one of them. I'll try to... Uh, maybe I'll get Midnight to like put them all in the like comments or something like that, and then I'll put them in the description or something like that. Uh... Hope you guys are all enjoying the content that we're making. I know the cast is kind of like the same people right now. It's just because the the times and schedules and everything, it's just e the people that are showing up are the ones that are easier to get. But the further out I can record, the more I can coordinate with people that we're unable to film with as often. So, I mean, if there's like a favorite business that you have, don't worry. They're still here. I haven't fired anybody yet. Um, they're still all around. But uh, look forward to that. There, there might be some streaming coming up. I'm not completely sure. It's going to be on days where uh, we, would, we would film, but we don't need to film. So that's, that's when streaming kind of shows up. But nonetheless, look forward to all of that, really. Viznomatic is continuing on. We're uh, over 1,000 subscribers still. Still made it. Um, I don't know the exact number, but I'm very excited about the number that I get to see. Um, seeing a lot of the tweets and stuff of you guys telling me positive things after the hurricane, it was really nice. Um, I'm very happy that there's nothing majorly wrong with me. Stubbed the toe. <laughs> that was like the worst thing that happened. Pulled out my arm on the generator. Nothing that actually happened from the hurricane. And my friends and family are just fine. Everyone's okay. Um, so, you know, love each other, you know, be happy with each other. Experience life positively. Even if things go to complete shit, it'll get better. Trust me. So, have a wonderful September and happy October. The best month of the Viznomatic year. See you then. Bye, everybody.